Nestled in the hills of Pisgah Forest, North Carolina, is a house. A base camp made for mountain bikers or anyone who loves the outdoors. It's called the Berm Peak Ranger Station, and we are taking reservations to stay here. The Ranger Station has a host of amenities not only for people, but for bikes. There's a secure place to store your bike downstairs, and a place to work on it, complete with tools. In the yard, you'll find a bike wash station. Inside, there's even a place for all your gear. But back in September, the Berm Peak Ranger Station was just a normal house. It had plenty of space, a great location, and a peaceful setting. But it also had some issues. The decks were less than safe. The floor had seen better days. And while the bathrooms looked okay at a glance, they didn't smell all that great. There was a lot lurking under the skin of the ranger station. So to make an actual destination, it would need some minor upgrades. Kitchens used to be for preparing food, but these days they're mainly for hanging out in. So we took down the walls to make the main floor all one room. We also did all new cabinets and a giant center island to make it an even better place for hanging out. The kitchen was the only room we actually took the walls out of. The rest of the house was simply renovated and made to look like new. Both bathrooms got invasive facelifts, and every door and trim piece in the house was replaced as well. Since we were down to the subfloor, we had a new commercial grade floor installed uniformly throughout the entire house by our friends at Miller's Wholesale. They'll be staying at the ranger station this summer as honorary guests. The house also got all new electrical wiring, which was something we hadn't planned on doing. But once the place was opened up, we tried to do all the things while we still could. You see, we're in the midst of a building boom right now, so tradespeople can pick and choose which jobs they take. Headaches like this tend to be their last choice. We got in right before things got crazy. And so the same company that built the Brevard Bike House did the renovation on the ranger station. And having contractors work on the house really freed me up to do the fun stuff, like the bike room. When we bought the ranger station, the bike room was a straight up dungeon. We started by cleaning it out and making it presentable. Then we built a workbench and loaded it up with everything you need to repair a bike. Without fail, every single time I show somebody the shop, they say, it'd be a shame if those tools walked off. Aren't you afraid of people stealing tools? And no, I'm, I'm not. First of all, if somebody steals a tool, we're gonna know who it was. If you wanna steal, a half used tube of grease. There are cheaper ways to do it than to rent an entire house. As for the bike lockup, we secured the entryways, installed a smart lock for guests to use, and built a long rack for hanging bikes by their seats. To get bikes down there, we graded a path from the front yard. At the top of the path is where we put the bike wash. What's up with you and your tiny hammers today, man? All my good hammers are like in the gator or something, and then I have like my home toolbox that I like hang pictures with. This is a framing hammer, it's a picture framing hammer. We built a few bike wash stations on this channel, but none that can support multiple bikes at once. We wanted to make it as easy as possible for guests to clean off all their bikes and get back to hanging out in that kitchen. Yeah, this is good. Yeah, it's pushing in. The deck keeps you dry while you're hosing off your bike, and the gravel keeps the ground around the bike wash from getting muddy. So let's say you go for a ride on one of Brevard's amazing trails and then return to the ranger station for dinner. 
You wheel your bike down the path to the wash station, get it looking good, and then continue down that same path to the workshop. You enter using your entry code, and then store your bike there for another day. Then it's just you and all your sweaty, dirty gear. So you enter the house through the mudroom. This was another idea that only materialized while we were renovating the house. When we first bought this house, this was actually an outhouse. They actually built it out like an outhouse, and my intention was to just leave the outhouse here because it was kind of funny. But the problem is, as we dug into it, we found out that it would need a lot of work to kind of be right. It was bad, and to turn this into a nice bathroom, you still have a bathroom right off the kitchen, and if somebody's in here putting in work. So we decided to turn it into a mudroom a place to hang up your gear, change your clothes, and do your laundry. We also know that in many cases your feet, and by extension your shoes, are gonna get wet. So rather than guests lighting up our dryer, we left them a much better option, a forced air shoe dryer, complete with a timer and even a glove dryer. I've only seen these in ski cabins, but never a bike-specific rental. But not everyone who stays here will be a mountain biker. And of course, you need to use the house during your stay for sleeping and eating. So we made sure the inside would be as comfortable and functional as possible. The kitchen sink features a reverse osmosis water filter for hospital grade drinking water to take on your ride. And for hot water, we upgraded to a tankless heater so guests can shower consecutively without it getting cold. There's plenty of seating all over the house, including beanbag chairs in the bedrooms. And for the work from home crowd, there's 300 megabit internet service, which is pretty good for around here. Actually, the side tables in the living room double as laptop desks, and the master bedroom has a real desk for those private Zoom meetings. The work from home revolution is upon us, and the ranger station is ready for it. That's why we also built a dedicated charging station and set up the name that should not be spoken in the kitchen. Alexa, what's the weather? Right now in Pisgah Forest, it's 82 degrees Fahrenheit with partly sunny skies. We also wanted the outside to look better, so Kevin put in a ton of landscaping work. The original yard was covered in puddles and drainage issues, so Kevin just treated it like a mountain bike trail and made it drain right. We also brought in tons of stone, literally. This place is rock armored, so we'll never need to worry about mud again. Now a good amount of these considerations were thanks to my wife, who has a much better sense of how to set up a house to look and function well. But we also did a test run with a real mountain bike family. Found the limit on how much chocolate you can handle on a pancake. We've got, we've blown straight past it. The porters lived here at the ranger station for a week, before it was even done, and they gave us input on things they noticed. When you stay someplace overnight, you get a unique perspective, like how we needed additional window coverings in certain places, and how the hot and cold water were actually reversed. And then there were the bunk beds. I decided to take them apart and just make them normal beds. By the way, these are twin XL mattresses, so they're the same length as king size mattresses. In short, we tried our very best to make the Burn Peak Ranger Station a blueprint for mountain bike vacation rentals, and we will continue making improvements ongoing. We still haven't set up that RC crawler course, and there's still lots of artwork we're planning on hanging, but that'll all come in time. It's the season now, and so the ranger station needs to be in service. So check the link below to see our listing on Airbnb. And in case you are wondering, I'm not the one handling the bookings. I would suck at that. We have a property manager. To my regular viewers, thanks for your patience. I'm itching to do other things besides set up a rental house, as I'm sure you're itching to watch other things. Someday we'll set up another ranger station. But for now, it's time to get back to riding bikes. Thanks for riding with me today, and I'll see you next time.